What's up, Athena family? Today we are going to break down a foliar spray procedure using a solution of Athena IPM and Athena Stack. Mixing Athena IPM and Athena Stack in the same solution is compatible for foliar applications. This will result in less wasted product and save on labor costs. Combining both products allows you to fertilize your plants while establishing a line of defense against pests and fungal pathogens. Athena IPM is used for pest management and has been proven effective against various pests and pathogens, including aphids, spider mites, powdery mildew, and fungus gnats. Athena Stack, on the other hand, is a fertilizer with no pest management modes of action. It is derived from kelp and other plants to provide essential bioavailable micronutrients that create favorable conditions for lateral growth, bud development, and improve vigor during transition. These essential nutrients will also improve your plant's resistance to abiotic stress. To prevent residue from forming on the foliage, we suggest using reverse osmosis water. We recommend using Athena Stack at a rate of four to seven milliliters per gallon of water and Athena IPM at a rate of 60 to 90 milliliters per gallon of water. For instance, here we have five gallons of RO water. We would add 20 milliliters of Athena Stack then add 300 milliliters of Athena IPM and mix until the solution is completely homogenized. Remember, the effectiveness of this foliar application also depends on how it is applied to the plant itself. So follow this procedure for best results. First, ensure the media is saturated with the current fertilizer to prevent the plant from absorbing large amounts of Athena IPM through the leaves. Plants may have phytotoxic reactions to this absorption. Next, lower the temperature of the room to about 70 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit and use dehumidifiers to maintain the room humidity at 55 to 65% to further inhibit mold or mildew issues. Foliar application should always be done when high intensity lights are off to prevent any foliar burns. Start by spraying the media, following up the stalk, making sure to drench the undersides of all leaves. Follow up with the spray over the top to ensure full saturation of all the plant's foliage. Now, allow enough time to dry, about three to four hours before high intensity lights are turned back on. Ensuring the media for each plant is fully saturated and complete spray coverage is key. If one area where pests or pathogens may reside is left untreated, the issue can persist due to rapid reproduction. When treating heavy infestations, multiple treatments are necessary to disrupt the reproductive cycle. And this covers the foliar procedure. Make sure to follow Athena Ag on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our latest products and procedures. Also check out We The Growers podcast on YouTube, Spotify, and iTunes for more in-depth growers knowledge. Boom.